All right, what's going on everybody? I'm James with Clearwater Hydrofoils, and this is gonna be the first video of a series that is gonna take you guys through step-by-step step how to build these aluminum hydrofoil kits. This is the kite foil version, and it also comes with, or you can get a surf wing version, so here's the surf wing. Um, both wings are interchangeable, so you can build both if you want. Very simple to just swap out wings. Um, so that's nice and easy for you guys. And if building isn't your thing, I have a ready to ride hydrofoil is what I'm calling it. This is the RTR. Um, this is available on the website. It's pretty much the same thing except we got G10 wings so you can just buy this thing, unbox it and ride it uh, a few minutes later. So I've been working on this for a couple of years now. Uh, I'm very proud to uh, offer it for you guys. Um, it's priced the most, it's the most affordable thing out there. Um, that's been my mission this whole time. So check this thing out if building is not um, your thing. So one quick thing I forgot to mention. Um, so this is obviously the kite wing. This is the surf wing. Both of these, the instructions to build are the same. So. Uh, for the sake of this video, I'm going to be building the kite wing. Just know that there's no difference, so it doesn't, doesn't matter what you're building. Still follow the video, the steps remain the same. So what's great about these new kits is the build time is drastically reduced. Um, basically all you're doing is you're taking the wood core and you're just going to fiberglass it. It's very easy to do if you've never used fiberglass before. I wouldn't worry about it because it's very simple. I'm going to teach you how to do it right now. Um, and if you have experience, this is going to be a breeze for you. I mean, you can get this thing done in a day and be riding it the next day, no problem. So without further ado, we're going to dive into the steps and um, we're going to build an awesome hydrofoil. All right, so I have everything laid out here. This is what comes with the kit when you buy it. Um, so obviously everything comes apart. You have your mast, base plate, fuselage, your front wing, stabilizer, bolts to connect the, the aluminum frame and then bolts to attach the wings to the fuselage. So one other thing I put together for you guys is this is the wing glassing material kit. Comes with everything you're going to need to glass these wings. Comes with the fiberglass to glass. Comes with some microfibers. Um, you're going to see why these are important later on. Comes with a little jar of mold release wax. So I portioned everything out, so this is about a, a single serving. There's a little bit extra of everything, just in case. But um, that can keep the material cost down. Some of you guys might already have materials, but for others, you know, it might be expensive to have fiberglass shipped to you and then order an entire um, jar of microfibers and then have that shipped to you and then order, you know, a can of release wax and have that shipped to you. So. To cut on costs, if uh, you need it, I have everything right here. And so this is the epoxy I like to use. You can use epoxy, you can use polyester. It doesn't matter, uh, whatever you got on hand or whatever you prefer. Also, you don't have to use this um, exact brand. This is just what I like to use. It's resin research. This is the fast curing stuff. It cures in about three hours. But really, any laminated resin is going to work fine. So. Uh, you don't have to be particular on the type of epoxy that you're using. And lastly, we have the tools that are needed for the build. You don't really need much. I mean, basically all you're going to be using is a nice, sharp um, razor blade. This is a box cutter, obviously. Some sandpaper. Uh, any grit um, that you want, really. This is uh, 60. Uh, works. No, this is 100 grit, so that works okay. If you have one of these, it's called a Sureform. Um, this is a handy tool and a drill to drill out your wings. If you have a drill press, that's great, but uh, you can use a hand drill. I use a hand drill all the time. Um, but yeah, you can probably get away with just these two. You're just going to be doing a lot more sanding. If you have files, that will work too. Uh, really, it, everyone has different tools, so everyone kind of has a different style. I'm going to take the minimal uh, approach here. Um, but I'm sure other people have different tools and they'll be able to, you know, do things differently. But for the sake of this build, we're going to be using this. All right. So the first step here is that we're going to tape over these holes. Keep in mind, this is the, the papery kind of tape. 
I've used this plasticky uh, packing tape before. I don't recommend using that. So stick to this paper tape if you can. And just take your piece of tape and lay it down. Press nicely into the wood, but don't press into the holes because you'll, you might break through that tape. Now this is on the curved side, of the, this is the curved side of the wing. The flat side is on the bottom. Uh, that only matters for this, the main wing. Uh, the stabilizer, it does not matter. The reason being, um, you'll find out in a minute when we come to fill in these holes with epoxy. So step one again is just to tape over these holes so that we can fill them up with epoxy. So one thing I just want to show you guys is when I was drilling out these holes, it was my first one. You can see there's a quite a large chip there, a little bit chip there. Uh, the drill bit was pretty dull, but I knew I was going to be using these just for the demonstration purpose. And even a chip like that's not going to matter. I'm going to show you in a second, and that's because we're going to fill these holes with epoxy, and you can just fill that chip in, and it'll be um, smooth, so there won't be any problem. So I have my epoxy, it's nicely mixed, and I'm just going to carefully fill in each of these holes. It helps to get it to bubble over a bit, um, because a little bit of epoxy will seep in. So this is where that chip is, and so I'm just going to fill that in, it's looking great. And then onto the stabilizer, same thing, just gently pour that stuff in, and that's it. So that's the, uh, that's the first step, we're going to wait for this to cure, and then we're going to pull the tape off and sand this smooth, and then we're going to get onto laminating the wings. Alright, so this epoxy is now cured. And um, now, you know, you just remove the masking tape. Alright, so the tape's off, and now we're just going to take some, ha some sandpaper like this. Um, or if you have an orbital sander, you can use that. It'll make things a little faster. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to sand and uh, take this you know extra epoxy down um, just get rid of it and just sand over where everything just make sure it's all smooth all right so everything is nice and sanded uh, I can just run my hand over it I feel it's smooth so we're all set there uh, so that completes the cores and the next step is going to be glass in these so that's going to be in the next video